Hello, ghouls and goblins. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. <laughs> um, hello, it's Madison. Um, and I'm showing off my Halloween costume. We are in a little witch's outfit, and the witch hat on my head fits perfectly. I don't... I think it's still from Halloween. I don't know. I don't know if my game's, like, not updated or whatever, but... I, you know, it matches the aesthetic. It even has the orange in it that I wanted. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but we're here at the Halloween area. Thanks for the costume contest. And, uh, here is my outfit. It's an adorable little witch's outfit, um, I, that I found online. And then I kind of customized the color to match my beautiful emote that Odo made me, which, um, if you haven't already, you should check her out because she's super cool and she's super talented. Super talented bean. Um, but yes, this is my costume. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a good day. Hi, I'm Callum, and this is my YOLO SMP Halloween costume. I am a zombie schoolboy because we're quirky like that. Um, I died um, during the recording of episode 5 to a whale whilst wearing my school uniform, so I became a zombie. That, that's all I can say. I have a second life in my hand and I have the power of heaven around my neck. Um, that's my Halloween costume. Vote Caliwags for president. Bye bye. <laughs> Hello there. I am White Wolf M. Or, in this case, White Wolf Voorhees! <laughs> Hello guys, it's just me, it's M. This is my Halloween costume for Yellow SMP Halloween 2021. I am Jason Voorhees. I've basically taken my skin and made it like raggedy looking and ripped up and given myself the Jason Voorhees mask because he's my favorite horror villain. I've even given myself a knife. But yeah, there we go. This is me. It is I, Liz, the Yellow Ghost Queen. Tremble before my terrible pale ghostiness. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry. Uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, this is my Halloween costume for the competition we are holding. I hope you guys love it as much as I do because this was so worth the wait. Thank you so much to our skin helper. I love the detail. It is so pretty. I mean, it shouldn't be pretty. It's supposed to be spooky. It, it is spooky, okay? It's spooky. Anyways, I hope you guys like it just as much as I do and like everybody else's who you'll see. Anyways, uh, Liz, the YOLO Ghost Queen, out. Bye, guys! Ooh. Hello, it's Odo here, and this is my Halloween costume for the SMP to keep up with the theme of my place, which is overgrown and farm life. We are here with the scarecrow costume, and I have a bit of a vine strapped around me as well. This is the back part of it. E, that's my costume. Hey guys, I'm Ellie and this is my Halloween costume for Yule SMP. So as uh, some of you may or may not know, I am the pumpkin queen. So as such, I need to dress appropriately. So that means I have my lovely uh, Halloween sort of robes on here. We've got a pumpkin at the back, of course, because I'm sporting uh, that pumpkin sort of uh, aesthetic here, which is very awesome. I love the stripes. Uh, I've got a bit of like a, a long jacket on as you can see at the back. At the front here we have a nice black cropped t-shirt on and some stripy pants to go with my boots. And then of course the best of all I have my crown with the little pumpkin at the top which is awesome. So yeah this is uh, my Halloween costume. That is also my permanent uh, YOLO costume because uh, I'm the pumpkin queen. <laughs> Hey guys, Sweet Ash Gamer here, and uh, I dressed up for Halloween. Can you guess who I am? That is right. Chucky! Oh my gosh, I decided to be Chucky from Child's Play, my favorite horror movie. I worked really hard on the skin, so I hope you guys really like it. Happy Halloween! So, this is my costume for Halloween. I am a witch. And here's the back of it. Although, I... 
do see now that the hair's a bit messed up from it, but yeah, it'll be fine. But yeah, this is my outfit for this Halloween. All the witchy vibes, especially with me obviously doing potions. Welcome back to the channel. It's Sweet Ash Gamer, and we are back for another episode of Yellow. And we tamed a little bug, and he's been pretty nice. So he's gonna give us a little tour of the area in which we're going to be kind of building in a little bit today. So what's kind of going on is I want to build, but like I can't really record the building because it's just a lot of random building and so what I was gonna do is kind of show you the area before I build too much show you what I've been doing show you what the plans are and then we'll just go from there so we're gonna come down here and little bug guy is going to give us a tour of what we've been up to so we we're having a little bit of lag in the area I'm not sure what that's about. It might be my shaders, um, but I've been kind of doing this. I've changed it up a little bit. I started with these like nether vine things. I thought they looked really cool back here. Uh, I made a little like river sort of thing. Uh, I thought that looked really cool with a bridge that goes across like this. I thought that it looked really neat and then that feeds like down into the water down there. And then there's a whole area here. There's a path. Stay away from me. Uh, and you can go around here. There's going to be a path here that leads to a, we're going to have a lighthouse here. And we got a little cute frog pond here. And we've got a little cute swing set here. I thought that was adorable. And then we have a path that goes this way. I'm not sure what we're going to build here. But I want this whole area to be filled up with stuff. We got some bees over there. And then we're going to come down here. And this is where we are going to build a stable i guess for our horses because currently our horses are actually still in our enchant tower and yeah i don't think they're very happy in there so we're gonna build a cute little stable area over here for them and probably just fill up this whole area with as much as i can think of because i just want this area to feel very lived in you know i want i want stuff everywhere thank you little bug for your service I had no idea that your bugs would defend you like this. Like, he's really slow, but, like, he's really, really trying. <laughs> it's really cute. Oh, look. There he goes. Oh, he's like, yeah. Yeah. Don't touch my owner. Don't touch my owner. I had no idea. Wow. They're vicious. Oh, no. You got this. You got this. Yeah! Oh, look at you. You only lost two hearts. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Here, have an apple. Where'd you go? Here you go. Yay! Oh my gosh, my bugs are cool. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to get started here. I like it. Uh, it's probably not quite as tall as I was hoping it was going to be. I didn't want to make it too tall anyways, and I think it, uh, actually turned out really well. But, you know, while making this, I couldn't help but to notice this area over here. And how pretty it looks. You can see our enchanting tower so beautifully from over here. You can see our windmill. This area, this little pond is so pretty. And on top of that, I just did this little thing. So there's like a little trickling thing coming out of it and it's so cute. So I think we should build something right here. Maybe uh, something like this. Hmm, yeah, I think that'll work. We have our own little Nessie. I like it. All right, so a little update on the progress that we've made so far. Uh, we've been building a tree, <laughs> a really big tree. Honestly, I uh, didn't realize how big it was until I came down. And I'm a little bit afraid to go back up to finish it <laughs> because I didn't realize how high I actually was up there. And I probably could have died from that height and I was not recording that. 
so I'm kind of just scared now and not sure if I want to finish the tree, but it's really pretty. <laughs> uh, so there is one thing I also added these lights which i thought was really really pretty uh and we've got these bees working away i've been breeding them so we have a few extras now and uh let's see what else so like i said we're going to be building a barn down here i've been growing these trees because i wanted to have first off these leaves for that tree but also maybe i was thinking of using these yellow trees or these yellow leaves for something. I don't know, maybe decoration. I'm not sure yet, but I'm wondering now if they're causing lag, so I might just get rid of them. Uh, and also the other thing about this tree that makes me really hesitant to do any more work on it is that this is not the first time that it was built. This is actually the second time that I've built this tree and done all of this, but uh, you know, as you can see, my lumber axe is tucked away safely in my backpack now because, well, things happen and accidents are done and made and entire trees fall down and all of your progress is lost and you just got to deal with that, you know? So we're moving on. Uh, we've been killing a lot of these beetles because they're just everywhere. Yeah, so this is where we're going to be building the barn. We're probably gonna have to take down some of these trees but i think that it's gonna look really good i think uh i'm not sure actually what the color scheme is going to be yet i know pretty much how big it's gonna be and everything but i just don't know what exactly uh, i'm going to use to build it i don't know if i want to make it out of wood or if i should use like uh the the wallpaper craft thing and like use the fake blocks just in case like lightning strikes so the entire thing doesn't burn down you know because that keeps happening around here so i'm not sure what exactly i'm gonna do yet but i'm gonna have to figure that out might go over to single player and actually go into creative and test out some things and figure that out but i'll uh show you guys when i'm done All right, so this is pretty much the base of it so far. Uh, this is pretty much how it's gonna look, I guess. A lot of the wood and stuff. I actually ended up really liking this fir wood, so I just went and grabbed some saplings and just sat here for a while and just bone mealed and got a whole bunch of fur. I actually really, really like it. So I think it's gonna turn out pretty well, so I will uh, show you guys whenever I'm finished, but I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Uh, so it's gonna go back a little bit like this. I'm not sure how far back, not too far, because we got water back here. So probably about to right here. Make sure those don't despawn. Make sure I want those, thank you. Uh, so they'll, it'll probably go to about like right here. And we'll have like probably a few individual stalls. I don't know how far apart they'll be. But on each side, we could probably have, we could have them like three in between, probably something like that. And uh, I think that that could work. We'll have to get rid of some dirt and stuff in there, but I think it'll work. We have, I think, three or four skeleton horses, so I think that's enough room for them. So I'll finish this and then we'll bring them over. All right, so we pretty much finished it. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I actually ended up really, really liking the fir wood. I know I said that before, but I really like it. So this is how it looks. I kind of wanted it to look overgrown a little bit. I put this guy in here because the other one died and I don't want him to die too. So <laughs> we're trying to keep him safe now. Uh, so each of the sides just have these little openings. I thought it'd be nice for them to have a nice little view to be able to look out over the ocean. It's very pretty. And at the same way this way, it's a big, nice open space and they can just look out. And this is going to be for the horses. I thought it was really cute. So uh, yeah, it, it, we have like these barrels. I don't know. Maybe we'll put like a our saddles and stuff in there and our horse armor anything that we like need for I guess them or whatever and there's just this little area up here that I added that's nothing really just a little area 
kind of balcony, you know, kind of cute, whatever. So now I think that we're going to have to go grab the horses and show them their new home and see if they like it. Isn't that just so beautiful? Oh my gosh. They get to watch the sunset every night and then they'll get to come over here and see the moon rise and they'll see, oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. They'll get to see the sun rise as well. I love this particular area of my entire area. I think this barn placement is just so perfect. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here, but uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it and enjoyed all the stuff that I ended up building. I'm sorry that it ended up just being me building a lot of random stuff, but that's kind of what I wanted to do. I want to fill out my area and make it look really cute and everything. We've got to get rid of that huge pumpkin and all those hay bales and stuff from the maze from Halloween, but after we get that, gone we have to have something for that area too so let me know if in the next episode you want to go on an adventure or if you'd like to build something for that area because it's going to be really blank and kind of weird uh so we'll have to figure something out but i hope you guys did enjoy it if you did hit that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe check out all the other creators in the description down below and i'll see you guys next time bye